Get your butt off the car. Well done, Nanas. You've been
We've got a new commentator. <laughs> story. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello? No, I'm not hearing anything, Terry. That's working. That's working? Okay, here we go for the start of the second quarter here. That's Painter Ains for goal. Oh, it's close, it's close, and it's just touched through. His shot has just fallen short. Now, we've gone into the uh, quarter time break here with uh, Mont skipped out to a, a great early lead in the first quarter to 6 6 42, leading McLeod on one goal, 0 6. McLeod has just got one more point, they go up to seven points. Okay, so Mont right on the top here at the uh, Parra Road Oval. There's McLeod's into attack here. Here's a chance for McLeod, they're handballing it around. There's Matos, has a shell on goal, and he goes bang! And he's got the second goal of the day on the scoreboard for McLeod. And they go to two goals, 1-13. Trailing Montmorency, 6-6-42. My apologies to the viewers, the uh, first quarter we had uh, technical difficulties and uh, my man in char charge here, Mr. Terry Ryan, believes that these have been overcome and we are actually going to air this quarter. Okay, so we seem to be g going to air as it's back at the centre bounce as Montmorency goes into attack. Uh, in front there, dashing through as the new board, Michelle, for... McLeod, as McLeod gets down to centre half forward, oh Powell's gone in hard there, he's taken out a, a Montmorency player, it's picked up by Vez Premier, he shoots from an impossible angle, goes close to goal and it's marked deep in the fence there by number seven, uh, Harley Ryan for Montmorency, they work the ball around the outer side past the scoreboard there, they get it down to the big Fella in Willits, he chips it up, looking for a lead up there from a teammate in number two in Pavitt. But it's beaten him over the line and out of bounce. All going to air good, Terry? As far as we know. Okay. Just waiting for the ball to come back into play here. Boundary umpires in position there over in front of the... Uh, like a bit of, bit of a building site over there. The ball comes back into play. Leggett in the ruck there from McLeod. Comes the ground level, John Andrew in hard there for McLeod, and it's all wrapped up. The umpire calls for another ball up. Early stages, second quarter. We're two and a half minutes into the second quarter here. Oh, here's a chance for the Mont Machine. They shoot on goal. It's going very close, and oh, excellent shot on goal. Didn't quite pick up who it was, and it's through for a goal. We'll just keep an eye on that player there. He seems, uh, might have been the, the big fellow there in Willits, Aaron Willits. He's trotting back to the uh, centre square there. Looking very happy about that, and well he might. Now we've got the big fellow Willits in the ruck here going up against the boy from McLeod in Long. Ball comes straight down to Luke Jackson from Montmorency, but he's all wrapped up, and the umpire calls for another ball up. Scoreboard reading Montmorency 7 6 48, leading the visitors McLeod 2 1 13. Ball comes down the ground, oh, in there was Painter, he bursts away, showing a good leg of speed there. He gets the ball out to the boy Michelle at half back. He sums up his options, not quite too sure where to go. He goes back over centre wing, looking for and finding only the. Mont Defender on that occasion in Harley Ryan. 
as uh, Harley Ryan repels the attack, gets up to his teammate in the centre wing position. He goes inside to Luke Jackson. Jackson's got the ball, brings it up the true centre half forward position, looking for the big fella, Paddy Fitzgerald, who hasn't been in the play much today, or at ground level there, it's all Montmorency. Eventually we've got Willits, picks it up there, he goes back inside. Uh, the ball didn't go very far. The umpire says it's a mark to the man with the big number, number 67. They get it down into the forward line. Backing up there was John Andrew. He got the ball out to Michelle. He taps the ball in front of him, but then he's gone to ground. McLeod defence fighting grimly there. Oh, eventually it's uh, John Andrew. Driven. Uh, Andrew's driven into the turf there, and he takes the result and free kick. They work the ball up to Scooter, who's got his hands on it there. McLeod working the ball very well here through John Andrew. He's got it back to Vez Premi. Vez Premi goes back to Scooter White. He goes wide past the grandstand on the other side and he's spun up Lockie Constantine. He goes back inside and he's an up and under kick. Oh, and in the road there's Big Willis. Oh, but coming in there doing very well with Dave Andrew. But it's back to Willits. He goes this way. He goes that way. He gets it back inside. Got the Montmorency player there who's wrapped up. Big Willits runs through the middle of the ground. He gets a handball back to his teammate. Oh, it was a nice smother there, effected by Kidd on that occasion. Well, it was a real contest here in the early stages of the second quarter. McLeod showing a lot more heart here as they burst from the defence. True story. He goes straight down the middle of the ground up to the hot spot. Up goes Powell. And Powell, he's flown high. He, he went up like a helicopter, Powell. You know, he grabbed that cleanly and he's taken a very clean mark. Uh, 30 metres out directly in front. Now Powell going right of screen, kicking to the lower plenty oval end. Powell comes in deliberately here. Normally a good kick this fella. Looks good off the boot and he's happy. Very good. So there's a very bright start to the second quarter by the uh, McLeod side. They get their third for the day. They go to three goals, 119. Trailing uh, Montmorency, who are on 7-6 of 48. What are you seeing, Jeff? Good bright start to the second quarter by McLeod. Good footing. That was good. But that the whole of the second quarter so far has been... Uh, good okay, ball comes to the centre, it comes down to Long, he gets a handball over to no one in particular, it's that Naya there, Vermont gets it up to centre forward, oh, the, the big fella's gone up there, the big fella in Willits has gone up there and he's grabbed that and the umpire says you can have a mark son, some debate as to whether he held it long enough. <laughs> Okay, the big fella Willits, 50 metres out directly in front, and he goes bang off the boot, not a problem there, and he snuck it through for a goal. So a quick reply by Montmorency there, they get their eighth goal of the day. They go to eight goals, six to three goals, one. And where, what's the time clock's going, tick, 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 and we're seven minutes and 25th. 31 seconds, 32 seconds into the second quarter. Scoreboard reading, Montmorency 8, 6, 55. McLeod 3, 1, 19. Back at ground level, uh, John Andrews in there. Gets a nice handball out to Dave Adams. He's all wrapped up. He gets a handball back to no one in particular. Four painters in there hard. He's done, he's done very well and he's all wrapped up. Umpire calls for a ball up. Big Willits in the ruck there, he gets the tap out there. It's, oh, they work all along at ground level, Montmorency, but oh, McLeod guys there. And John Andrews earned a nice free kick there. They got it over the core. He got the ball down to Scooter White. He's played on, he gets a nice kick up to, and he has found Martin. He plays on, and he gets a he, beautiful play by McLeod on that occasion, and they get the ball up to the leading pal. And Powell was marked in a similar position before. He's about uh, 25, 30 metres out on a slight angle. Powell kicking to the Lowell Plenty Road, Lowell Plenty Oval end of the ground, kicking right of screen. Powell comes in.
And again, it looks good off the boot, and he's put it through for his second for the quarter. So, and the fourth for the day to McLeod. They go to 4 one trailing the home side Montmorency, who are on eight goals, six, make that 54. And we're nine minutes into the second quarter here at the Par Road Oval. So a very good start to the second quarter here by McLeod. We've got uh, Painter there, bursts from the centre square with the ball. Then he backs up and with desperation soccers it along. Uh, gets it to Scooter, his handball goes to no one in particular. He goes back in and he's earned himself a free kick here, Scooter White. McLeod taking a lot of the initiative early stage of the second quarter. And uh, he's being encouraged by his teammates to have a shot on goal. And why not? That's what it's all about. He shoots for goal. He's coming up a bit short. It's up in the goal square. The big men go at it. And there's a big mark to the big fella there. I couldn't quite pick up who it was. Uh, deep in defence. Ah, oh, but that, Bob Marinci come out of defence there. But intercepting there is uh, Captain Kane Shaw. Help me out, fellas. Is that Shaw? Yep. He's got the ball. Cap Captain Kane Shaw has got the ball. Uh, 50 metres out from goal on, a, on an acute angle. He thought, well, I might as well have a shot for goal. He comes in. Shoots. Looks good off the boot. It's going close. But not close enough. Now, there's a mark to McLeod here by Powell. I tell you, Powell is having a purple patch here at the Parra Road Oval. And he runs around, and he's gone pal, all right. He's gone pal. He put it through. The umpire didn't like the fact that he played on. Is that what happened, Jeff? Yeah. He didn't like it. <laughs> he said, you can't do that. So, he, so Powell goes back and says, well, I'll try and do that again. So Powell comes in. It looks like he's done it again. Not to be deterred. He's put through his... He's put through his third goal in uh, five minutes. And Powell is having a purple patch at the Parra Road Oval, I would say. Fantastic. We're seeing a lot more initiative by McLeod this quarter. Really attacking the ball and taking risks. Well, why not? Right, but... Back at the centre bounce, we've got the unders undersized Ruckman and Steve Kelly uh, helping out here against, against the big Paddy Fitzgerald. Oh, Fitzgerald wins that easy, but it comes down to Cahal Core. Here's a chance for him. He bursts from the centre, gets a quick handball to Harwood. He gets it down forward where it's all Montmorency there, but the, they're, bat they're going backwards to go forward, Montmorency, but eventually they work it out of defence beautifully with some nice handball there. They come out to the near side wing, then they go inside and they got it to big uh, Paddy Fitzgerald. They work it beautifully through the centre there. Might have been Jackson there. It is Lukey Jackson. Oh, they kick it up forward. Here's a chance for Montmorency. Oh, it's nicely knocked away there by... Uh, by McLeod defence. Oh, players going in hard there. Well, Sievers is in the road there. Oh, he's, he's dashed all around there, trying to get his kick away, and it's smothered and over the line and out of bounds. Scoreboard reading, Montmorency 8-6, McLeod 5 goals, 1. Oh, players going in hard there. Oh, the um, big fella, the big fella, uh, Aaron Willips is all wrapped up there by Dave Adams. Ryan, I've got it wrong. I bloody keep calling Aaron. What, what the hell am I doing here with this commentary? Get it right, son. It's Ryan Willits. You're going to call it, call it right, son. It's Ryan Willits. And as Nan Curves gets a nice handball out to Kelly. Kelly goes, sweeps it wide, looking for and find the man they call Duck Doherty. He goes back to co forward. He gets it to Shaw. And they get to Dave Adams. Oh, there's handball. Which way are they going, McLeod? But anyway, they eventually work it wide. But oh, here's danger. Oh, but it's a beautiful bump there laid by Story. But all oh, the Montmorency players are up to the task. But they all, oh, they go to ground there. No, they're mucking around with the handball there. But here's a chance for a shot and goal by Montmorency. It's close. To, oh, but. Deep in defence, there's a lovely mark taken by Leggett. Right in the last line of defence. And they bring the ball out of the defence there. It comes in the hands of the quick man, the matter speeds the in Yarwood. He gets it to Kelly. He sweeps the handball to Shaw and he's all wrapped up. 
and the umpire calls for a ball up. Uh, McLeod winning this quarter and also uh, on the scoreboard showing that they're winning the quarter. Uh, close to, oh, no one can get a kick away. There was a, a, fr a fresh air shot by Yarwood there and then Luke Jankson from Montmorency forced the ball over the line and out of bounds. Ball being thrown back into play. Oh, in the back there is the experienced Nan Curvis. He scrambles a kick up the half forward. Oh, <laughs> oh there's, a, there's a mark there to Montmorency. The McLeod people feel that it uh, had touched the ground. Ball comes the ground uh, in the road. There was Dave Adams. He got a handball out to the quick speedster in Yarwood. He gets the ball up to half forward. And there's a nice mark taken there by Hankel, just forward of centre wing. He goes across looking for Duck Doherty. But Doherty's caught behind on this occasion. There's a, and the ever-reliable Shane Tennant takes the mark in front of Duck Doherty. They go wide out to Keenan. The experienced Keenan goes down to the centre wing position where a mark is spilt there by Montmorency, but they're good enough to back up. Then they go back inside, but it's intercepted by Cajal Kaur. He goes straight down the ground looking for, and finding, oh, Powell nearly, nearly had it. Oh, the player's in hard there. Henkel goes to ground on that occasion. All oh, the stronger bodies from Montmorency are telling here, but all oh, the uh, McLeod players are relentless with their tackling. Uh, excellent play there by McLeod. Some tackle laid there by, I think it might have been Cajal Kaur and a team out who I didn't quite pick up. Okay, Long's back in the ruck here for McLeod and the big fellow there in... Willits, R Ryan Willits it is, he just smashes it away, he's a huge man. Oh, there it goes wide there, uh, on that occasion we had uh, <laughs> we, we had a sliding rule there, no one likes it, but McLeod's the recipient of the free kick and it goes to uh, Kelly, he goes inboard and he spotted up uh, uh, Shaw, just forward to centre, he wastes no time, plays on, gets it down to the forward pocket, and up there is a nice mark taken on this occasion by Long. The McLeod players are playing excellent football this quarter. They've really taken the initiative and they're winning on the scoreboard this quarter. And now Mop was 6-6 six, six at a quarter time, they're now 8-6, while McLeod were just the one goal. Now they're on four goals, one, and here's a chance of, a, of another goal for McLeod. Okay, Long comes in. He's on a tight angle here. Not a renowned goal kicker. Looks pretty good off the boot. Oh, bang! It's the sixth goal. Pete, what's the turnaround? We're kicking. Why are we kicking straight this week, Pete? We're kicking straight for goal. They've been told to kick straight. Excellent. So, McLeod go to 6 1, Charlie Montmorency, 8 goals, 6. Brian, we're seeing straight kicking. Seeing straight kicking, what a difference it makes. Okay, the big fella Ryan Willits wins the tap out, comes to ground level, but in there's Dave Adams first. He gets the ball, his handball's intercepted, he's good enough to back up. He goes again, gets a handball over towards Long. He gets a quick handball back to John Andrew, over to Dave Adams. He goes wide and he gets the ball over to... Ah, it's all Montmorency in defence there. And they, on the rebound, they get it down to Keenan. He runs through the centre, gets it down to half forward. In front there was Nan Curis. Unlucky perhaps not to get a free kick. Ball goes to ground level there. Players in hard. Oh, they're working the ball beautifully. McLeod, they get it out to the centre wing there. But oh, in the way, there's a nice mark to Montmorency. We're 18 minutes into the second quarter here at the Parra Road Oval. It's been 18 minutes of very good football by uh, McLeod this quarter. The ball is now over the line and out of bounds, right in front of the Victoria Bitter sign on the outer side of the ground. Montmorency going left to screen. We'll call that the Greensboro end. Oh, players go in there from Montmorency, but ground level there. They're umming and ahhing here now. Here's a chance they scramble the ball down to the full forward area. And oh, in there is the, uh, well, the, the, the um, McLeod defence have worked a beautiful for the handball here. They don't want to overdo it. There's a painter's down there to, to help them out. 
eventually get it out towards Duck Doherty. Uh, he, he's nudged under the ball and there, well, and there's a mark taken by a very strong player here in Daniel Coghill. Now Coghill fancies his chances, he's 50 metres, 55 metres out on a slight angle. Very strongly built player, looks good off the boot. Won't make the distance, or oh, it has made the distance. It snuck through. And it's through for a goal. Excellent goal there to Coghill. It's the ninth of the day to Montmorency. Didn't quite guard the, the goal line there. One, one, one would think if they had to guard the goal line there, they might have been able to defend that one. Would you think that, Jeff, if they had a go to the goal yeah, line? A bit hard to see. Mm. It's a nice kick, wasn't it? Yeah. Good players kick nicely. It's 9 6. 60. Montmorency leading. McLeod 6 1 37. Oh, here goes the big fella, Ryan Willits. He's got a handball. It's intercepted by Painter. Gets it to O'Brien. He gets a handball out to Yarwood. He sprints through the middle of the ground to, to Scooter White. He goes back to O'Brien. O'Brien then is depossessed to get the ball for Painter's intelligently punched it back to uh, Kane Shaw. He gets it then to Kahal Kool. Gets it up to half forward. Oh, there's a mark there. Dropped by the mark is dropped by the. Um, Mont defence and gives an opportunity for Lockie Considine to have a shot and goal, but he's, he's kick his error and just trickles over the line in the forward pocket. Ball being thrown back into play now. Oh, it's in the goal square here. Oh, it's just being propelled here by the uh, little pals in there. He's had a pearl of a quarter, this, this quarter pal. He's kicked, uh, he's kicked at least three. Three to my knowledge this quarter. And the ball boundary, ball up here, 20 metres out from goal. Powell's going in hard. He's feeling, feeling very confident. And well, he might. Oh, the McLeod guy cast aside. There's a shell and goal. There's a shell and goal by McLeod, by John Andrew. And it's just missed to his near side. And it's through for a point. One behind, one point to McLeod. They go to 6-2, 38. As Montmorency wastes no time, they bring the ball back into play. They go to the outer wing in front of the scoreboard. Then they go back inside to the big fella in Ryan. Oh, Paddy Fitzgerald, was it? He bursts through the middle of the ground, gets the ball down forward. Oh, it's the ball's handed back to a uh, Montmorency player. And he has a shell and goal, and it is a miss to the near side. Brings up the seventh behind to Mont for the day. We've got the man they call H to bring the ball back into play. Taps it to his boot. He plays on. He goes this way. He goes that way. Eventually he handballs. Then it's back to Sievers. They run the ball over centre. And there's been a uh, there's been an errant shepherd here. A mistake here by the McLeod defence. It's been picked up by the umpires and results in a a shell and goal by Montmorency by Wayne uh, Pavitt. I think it might be the man they may call Pee Wee Pavitt for some reason. I don't know. And we've got Pavitt coming in just 20 metres out on a, a slight angle and he wastes no time and popping that through for a goal. So there's a, a capitalisation on a mistake. Uh, very clear what happened on that occasion. So it's the 10th goal of the day goes on the board to Montmorency and we're 22 minutes and 50 seconds into the second quarter. So at the 22 minute mark there, there was that, uh, that error there by McLeod was just very untimely. Okay, from the centre bounce, oh, the Montmorency boys move it very easily. Eventually, it might have been Jackson there, got it to half forward, it's close to the boundary line. Players all tied, tied up there, and the umpire says, throw it back in. The new boy, uh, Lockie Michelle, playing there, wearing number 44. Okay, comes the Yarwood, he sweeps a handball to Lockie. Lockie Considine goes to the ground, in the middle of the ground, he's all tied up there. He's all tied up there. Mott looking for a free kick. McLeod supporters looking for an in the back. The umpire will have none of that and says, we'll ball it up. 
throws the ball in the air. The big fella Fitzgerald in there. Yeah, they get the ball down to Mont. It's all wrapped up there by John Andrew and we'll have another ball up. 29 points in it here at the, the uh, Power Road Oval. Oh, nice knock out there by Long on this, this occasion. Oh. Players going in hard there. So the uh, umpire's ruled that Core actually hasn't disposed the ball correctly there. They get the ball out to the big fella in Ryan Willits. And the big man looks down the ground and delivers the ball. It's a beautiful kick of the ball, Ryan Willits. He gets the ball down the half foot going in there was Pee Wee Pavitt. Oh, the McLeod boys go back in this way. They go that way. Oh, they work the ball beautifully out of defence. They get the ball out to Kaur. Kahakor, he's all wrapped up there. It's turned over. Comes to Naya. And Naya goes bang. He gets the ball down to half four. But oh, here's a chance for Montmorency player in Ryan Jackson, the man that's been on the Carlton list. But just because he's on the Carlton, has been on the Carlton list doesn't mean he'll always kick a goal. And Ryan Jackson has missed to his near side. What's his name? Darren Jackson. Don't ruin a good story. Don't ruin a good story. We're trying to put a good story here together to get the people happy. All right, the man is Ryan Jackson. Yeah. It's all right. I just get, I'm being humorised here by some of the McLeod players who who were able to touch on the fact we're calling uh, Ryan Willits, Alan Willits. Oh, it's their strong play here by both sides as they work the ball. Henkel gets a scramble kick. Oh, it's near the, near the boundary line. And eventually, Yarwood has shuffled, shuffled over the boundary line. And uh, shuffled over the boundary line. And there's a uh, <laughs> tell of bounce. Two, Toosie's not happy here. They're starting to ruffle up the ruffle up the Montmorency players. Now, the Montmorency players have actually been... Well, the, what's happened is the McLeod player in story has been yellow carded here. Okay, McLeod's winning this, uh, this second quarter here at the Parra Road Oval. There's a lot of niggle happening here. Umpires throw the ball back and play. The big fella, Ryan Willits. Oh, it's Paddy Fitzgerald oh, in the yeah, ruck there. Front of the animal. Yeah. Front the Jack Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Jackson there has uh, dealt very heavily with John Andrew there. John Andrew's been fantastic playing on him today. Oh, the big fella, Paddy Fitzgerald, gets the knock away there. The player's going hard, and the cloud defence defending well here. And the umpire's running, and he said there's a free kick to uh, McLeod player, uh, deep in defence. And it's the, the little champion for McLeod in Scooter White. He goes to the outer side. Oh, his kick is errant. Just when you wrap him up and call him a champion, he has an errant oh! kick. Oh. oh, this play has been knocked over left, right, and centre here. The umpires are not taking a strong, not taking a strong hand here. There perhaps could have been a reversal of that. Anyway, the little fella Pavitt's having a shot on goal. He's he's 45 metres out on an acute angle. He shoots for goal, and it's through for a goal. What a filthy mark! And, and it's the 11th goal of the day on the scoreboard to Montmorency. They go to 11 goals, 8.74. McLeod on 6.238 here at the Parra Road Oval. A lot of uh, spike in the game, particularly at the minute, after this very spirited fight back by McLeod. The ball comes to the ground level. Ryan Jackson's in there. He shuffles the ball out to his teammate. He plays in hard there, oh, and it's another down. ball up. And we're 28 minutes into the second quarter here. Ball comes to ground level. John Andrew in there. Oh, there's an errant kick there. Scooter White's there. He kicks the boy. Ball high up towards the half forward area. Waiting back there is uh, Harley Ryan for Montmorency. He's defended easy. Got a beautiful kick out to might have been Keenan there on the outer back flank. They worked the ball past the centre wing position up the half forward. Looking for and finding uh, big fella 
Oh, well, no. Fitzgerald, he couldn't quite hang on there. And there's the siren for half time. We go to the half time break. The scoreboard already in Mont 11 8 74. McLeod 6 2 38. From the McLeod point of view, they really took the game on that quarter. And uh, you saw a lot of, uh, well, uh, playing on after uh, getting a marker or a free kick, uh, wasting no time at all. Then they were able to square it up and get it to the fast leading Powell, who was had a purple patch there and got his hands on about three in a row there and, and was able to slot it. And then he had his kicking boots on and was able to slot them through. Uh, very, very spirited fight back there by... McLeod. It looked at uh, quarter time that Mott was going to have it all its own way today and you it uh, has been a very spirited spirited fight back here by the McLeod boys. And they've won the won the score scoreboard uh, even though they're still trailing as we go to the half time break. Well boys <laughs> Two, is that coming through? Thank <laughs> you. 